Francesca Annis is an English actress. She is known for films such as Dune and television series such as Reckless, Wives and Daughters, Cranford, and Deceit. Early Life and Education Annis was born in Kensington, London in 1945 to an English father, Lester William Anthony Annis and a Brazilian French mother, actress Mariquita Purcell, both sometime actors and Mara, a singer. Mara was from a wealthy Brazilian family, and the Anisas moved to Brazil when Francesca was a year old, and spent six years there, returning to England when she was seven. In recollecting the years in Brazil, she describes her parents parents as running a nightclub on Copacabana Beach, and her mother Mara, performing as a blues singer, at the same time. Francesca was educated at a convent school, and trained in her early years as a ballet dancer, with training in the Russian style at the Corona Stage Academy. Career. Anis began acting professionally in her teens, and made her film debut in The Cat Gang. Her first major film role was as Elizabeth Taylor's handmaiden in Cleopatra, which she was cast in while still studying Russian ballet. Her big break was as one of the leads in the 1965 West End stage musical Passion Flower Hotel. She played Estella in the television adaptation of Great Expectations and presented children's television programs. She garnered attention for her performance as Lady Macbeth in Roman Polanski's film version of Macbeth in which she performs the sleepwalking soliloquy in the nude. The critic Kenneth Tynan was present when the scene was shot. Francesca does it very sportingly and with no fuss. Though of course the set is closed, great curtains are drawn around the acting area, and the wardrobe mistress rushes to cover Francesca with a dressing gown the instant Roman says, cut. Annis continued to be a leading television actress throughout the 1970s, 1980s and 1990s appearing in series such as Edward VII as Lily Langtry, a role she reprised in Lily, Mad and Bovary, and Parnell and the Englishwoman, in which she played Kitty O'Shea, as well as the miniseries Reckless and its 2000 sequel. Annis co-starred with Michael Gambon and Dame Judi Dench as Lady Ludlow in the BBC One costume drama series Cranford. Her films have included Krull and Dune. She appeared as Tuppence with James Warwick of Tommy and Agatha Christie's Partners in Crime Stories as well as its preceding The Secret Adversary. She appeared in Onassis, The Richest Man in the World, in which she played Jacqueline Kennedy. She portrayed Mrs. Wellington in the second film and directorial debut by the musician Prince, Under the Cherry Moon. Annis has pursued a stage career also playing leading roles with the Royal Shakespeare Company, Luciana in Trevor Nunn's musical version of the Comedy of Errors in 1976, and Juliet in Romeo and Juliet alongside Ian McKellen in 1977. At the National Theatre in 1981 she played Natalia Petrovna in Peter Gill's production of Ivan Turgenev's A Month in the Country. At the Comedy Theatre, September 2005, January 2006, Anna starred as Ruth in Epitaph for George Dillon with Joseph Fiennes. She returned to the stage in April 2009 to star as Mrs. Conway in Rupert Gould's National Theatre revival of J.B. Priestley's Time and the Conways. Personal life. Annis was in a relationship with photographer Patrick Wiseman that began in 1974, and the partners had and raised three children Charlotte, Taryn, and Andreas, all of whom were given their father's surname. Annis began a relationship with Hamlet co star Ralph Fiennes in 1995, ending her 23 year relationship with her partner Wiseman in 1997 with Fines in turn divorcing his wife for four years. Alex Kingston, Annis is said to have apologized to Wiseman over their parting. Annis and Fines announced their separation on 7 February 2006, after 11 years together, in a parting described as acrimonious following his affair with a Romanian singer. In an interview with Tim Ald of The Telegraph in 2009, 
Anis described herself as being one that tends to forget the bad things, I don't dwell on them. I think, oh, eff it, life's too short, and that though single, she believes it is better to be with someone than alone, stating, I think you live a fuller life, to have someone else's input on anything, a book. A meal, your children, life, a walk, is fantastic, and expressing optimism as she looked at the rest of her sixth decade, stating, I like to have a big open canvas. I am a glass half full person. Something will turn up, you know, and whatever it is it'll be fine. Selected films, The Cat Gang, Carry On Teacher, No Kidding, Cleopatra, West Eleven, Murder Most Foul. Saturday Night Out, Crooks in Cloisters, The Eyes of Annie Jones, Flipper's New Adventure, The Pleasure Girls, Run with the Wind, The Walking Stick, Macbeth, Penny Gold, Krull, June, Under the Cherry Moon, The Debt Collector, Copenhagen, Revolver, The Libertine, Shifty, Selected Stage Appearances, Shakespeare's The Comedy of Errors, as Luciana, with the Royal Shakespeare Company. Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, as Juliet, with the RSC. Ivan Turgenev's A Month in the Country, as Natalia Petrovna, with the National Theatre. John Osborne in Anthony Creighton's Epitaph for George Dillon, as Ruth, at the Comedy Theatre. J.B. Priestley's Time and the Conways, as Mrs. Conway, with the National Theatre, selected television appearances, Danger Man, episodes, no marks for servility, that's two of us sorry, The Human Jungle, episode, Wild Goose Chase, The Saint, episode, Locate and Destroy, a pin to see the peep show, as Julia Armand, Madame Bovary, as Emma Bovary, Lily, as Lily Langtry, why didn't they ask Evans, as Lady Frances, Frankie, Derwent, The Secret Adversary, as Prudence Cowley, Agatha Christie's Partners in Crime, as Prudence, Tuppence, Beresford, Magnum P.I., Episode, Deja Vu, I'll Take Manhattan, Miniseries, as Lily Davina Adamsfield, Between the Lines, as Angela Berridge, The Ellen Pascoe, Episode, An Autumn Shroud, Reckless, as Anna Fairley, Wives and Daughters, as Hyacinth Gibson, Cranford, as Lady Ludlow, Return to Cranford as Lady Ludlow, The Little House, as Elizabeth, Home Fires, as Joyce Cameron, Awards and Nominations, 